Hello, this is my solution to the problem at the equator near the surface of Earth. The magnetic field is approximately 50 micro teslas northward, and the um, electric field is about 100 newtons per coulomb downwards in fair weather. Find the gravitational, electric, and magnetic forces on the electron in this environment. Assuming the electron has an instantaneous velocity of 6 e to the 6 meters per second directed eastward. Okay, what I did first was found the force due to gravity, which is equal to the mass times the gravity downwards, which is equal to, over here we have the mass and gravity, and so we have 9.11 um, e to the negative 31st kilograms times 9 point eight meters per second squared which is equal to a force of eight point nine three uh, e to the negative thirtieth newtons downward That's my answer to the force of gravity. Next, I will do the force of the electric field, which is equal to Q, or the charge of the electron, times the electric field, which is equal to um, the charge of an electron, which is negative 1.6 coulombs. Um, times negative 100 newtons per coulomb. I entered the negative here because it's directed downwards, which will equal 1.6, these two cancel, e to the negative 17th newtons upwards for that's what I calculated for the electric field. My final one is the force due to magnetism, which is equal to QVB sine theta and because we are talking about a magnetic field which is um, normal to Earth, um, we're going to have a sine of 90 degrees. So sine just cancels out because that'll equal 1. So this doesn't matter. So now we have Q, V, B. Uh, sorry, let me just explain this. Um, here, we have a we have an electron traveling eastward and a magnetic field going north. This sign right here is 90 degrees. So, sorry for explaining that wrong. But, um, okay, so now what we have is QVB is equal to FM. And we have Q, which is negative 1.6 coulombs. Um, times 6 e to the 6th meters per second, because that is the velocity given in the problem, times 50 e to the negative 6th tesla, which is also given the problem, um, which equals um, 4.8 e to the negative seventeenth newtons and that if you use the right hand rule we'll have the velocity going in this direction and then we'll have uh, the magnetic field going in this direction however because the charge is negative it'll flip and we will actually have four point this would be up right here 
if you're using the right hand rule for a proton because we have a negative charge it's 4.8 e to the negative 17th down Alright, and there's the answer.